All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of Nova Adis, the adventures of old man Cerny Banders. Currently, we're catching him giving a little uh, town hall meeting in the local tavern, you know, telling people all about how uh, the working class of Calradia is getting uh, is getting punished at the expense of the King Harlesses. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of people came out. But that's neither here nor there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get the crowds. <laughs> um, today, as you can probably tell by the title, uh, we're going to be trying out a brand new piece of weaponry that I was able to buy from a uh, an auction. Yeah, a gun show auction. Because apparently you're allowed to just buy whatever the fuck you want there with no restrictions. We got ourselves this thing. A fire lock pistol. Something like that. And this boy... Woo! Yeah. I tested it out a little bit. This thing does work. This thing does work. So, Second Amendment time. Let's go uh, Let's go try this out on some people. Before we leave here... Ugh, good God. Man, it's early in the morning. Before we leave here, uh, we... Actually, shoot. We need to pray real quick. Um, we did advance our piety level one more time. So, we got one extra Christmas since the last time. I've been doing a lot of grinding. I know I haven't had an episode out in a couple days. But that's because I've been uh, busy with work and whatnot. Um, I had to take a uh, <clears throat> another test for the medical school applications called Casper. Which, I'll be honest, was even more stressful than the MCAT. <laughs> um, I'll probably get into more of that during the uh, live stream that we're having tomorrow. Remember, guys. About, uh, I'll say, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time is around when we're going to start. Um, we're going to be streaming this. We're going to be setting up our colony. We're going to be making some subscriber heroes. Speaking of which, we uh, made a couple more last night. We got the legendary B.O.B. And, oh, nope, not you. <laughs> Andrew the Navigator, who's now riding a camel. I also picked up a bunch of uh, horses for everybody. And uh, I started taking all the helmets that we were winning at tournaments and started equipping them to people. So, Louis has one now. Um, thought I gave one to someone else. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I just sold a bunch. As you can see, we have a lot of money. I have won, good God, maybe about eight to nine tournaments <laughs> since last episode. Maybe more than that. Maybe more than that, to be honest. So, now we are going to uh, go ahead and buy our first ever, I think... Noble Great House. 50k for this thing. Oh, fuck. But that'll mean that the the money should be good, though. 246 prestige points. Hell yeah. Rent it out for nearly 2k a week. Absolutely. Uh, property prices are actually pretty high right now. So we want, what we want to do is throw out these tenants. And then get some new ones under the, uh, the better prices. Normally I'd feel pretty shitty about doing this. But these are rich people that we're throwing out and forcing to pay more. So, so Cerny Banders fully endorses this. Okay. Um, and actually, shit, 250 prestige points? That should be enough to rank us up. There we go. My lord, you are respected powerful now. Yes, such grammar. Uh, the aristocracy welcomes you. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let's go and check that out. What are we looking at now? Mm, okay, so once again, it's only like 300 prestige each time to rank up. That's not too bad. The aristocracy is a class of people holding important offices. These people are powerful and very wealthy. Please, the next class requires you being a vassal of a kingdom. Oh, all right. Well, I think I know what we're going to be doing next after, um, after tomorrow's live stream. We're going to be joining a kingdom. And I'll be honest... We were, when we were running around searching for heroes, some of these towns have jack shit for garrisons. Like, I saw multiple towns that had, like, 60 to 80 people in the garrison. Towns. Not castles. Towns. Dude. We are going to fuck them up once we become a lord. Shoot, even with just the shit we have right now, I, I would put us as having a fair chance against them. <laughs> just because of how beastly Bernie San or Cerny Banders is already. Um, we also got some new armor. It was decently expensive, like probably 15k for the two of these. Maybe a little more, actually. Maybe closer to 20k. But this thick banded armor is nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Not only did it, does it give us leg armor, which the old one didn't, it's also like plus 8 body armor. So it's plus 24 in total. We got these boots that, was, that were like plus 14 total for us, something like that. So we are uh, <laughs> looking pretty good. <clears throat> God, it is early in the morning. I planned on recording this last night. 
but then our fucking internet went down. And not even just like our Wi-Fi, the fucking Ethernet connection went down, so I wasn't able to record and upload then, so I'm trying to quick upload this now before I'm going to a little day party. A little old uh, darty by uh, one of the uh, apartment complex pools. It's good to be back at school, boys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It's good to be back at school. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for a party of uh, worthy enemies to test out this new weaponry on, and I will be right back. Okay, I was searching all over the place, and these are finally the first people that I'm finding. So we'll take these guys out. These will be easy, easy test subjects, okay? That's the goal. That's the goal. So unfortunately, you can't hold a ton of bullets in this thing. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the stats of it. Wow, you guys are going to see just how good <laughs> how good it is in a second here. Um, so the biggest bag of bullets you can get, or satchel, I think it's called, only gives you 15. So it's not a ton, but the damage is worth it. Oh, the damage is worth it. Like, I'm considering trying to somehow invest in horse archery. <laughs> Alright. 153 damage. Yeah. That, uh... That ain't too bad. Oh, whoops, I forgot. With firearms, you gotta go this way. Alright. Wasn't aiming at that guy in the background that we just shot, but that's okay. So it's not nearly as accurate as the crossbow. You know, gotta understand that. But, uh, when you're doing this much damage, fuck, man. It don't matter. I think we will end up eventually buying a, a more accurate rifle for sieges. Uh, but this is the best one that you can use on horseback. Okay. That is pretty inaccurate. I also might have just choked that shot somehow. Come on. Okay. Once again, shooting someone random off in the background. Okay, yeah, this isn't very accurate at all. But, you know, when it's a group of enemies... It's, holy shit. This is bad. When it's a group of enemies... Whoa! <laughs> this, wow, this is pretty bad. I was not having this problem before. Where is? Where are my bullets going? Frank, get out of there. Get out of there, Frank. You're my only crossbowman. I'm not letting you go down. There we go. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Good news is, this thing does pretty much the same amount of damage to every enemy that I've tested on so far. Like, we were one-tapping Cathars. Like, an entire group of Cathars. Is that it? Dude, getting, giving all of our heroes horses is actually a really good move. They're a lot better now. Who are you? Oh, you're just a crusher. Oh, look at Quinius, man. I gave him the fancy warhorse because, I mean, just look how dapper Quinius is. I mean, old man Harvey West. It just matched his, uh, his outfit. All right, good stuff. So there you go. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's get some prestige. Let them go. Ooh. That's actually worth a little bit of money. Oh, I need to remember to level up, too. Because we have leveled up several times. Four times since the last episode. I told you guys, I have been popping off in the tournaments. And I've done so many of them. Uh, let's get... Oh. You know, I was thinking about going up to strength 24 next. I'm not so sure about that right now. Alright, let me distribute these points for now. Alright, so get the wound treatment skills up. What I really need is, actually, inventory management is what we really need right now. Um, if we're going to be going back and forth to the new world, building our colony next episode, we need to go to inventory management. Let's do that. All right, I think we're going to go up to 27 intelligence, and then we'll start working on strength, okay? Does that sound like a plan? Good. A little more pathfinding, more inventory management. That's going to be huge. Look at this. Look at all these free spaces we have now. That's room for a whole shit ton of timber, stone, and tools. Speaking of which, um, since our blacksmith was making so little money already out of um, Jelkala, uh, I went ahead and just uh, told them to stop selling it. <laughs> just uh, just stop even trying to sell. Well, we're just going to use that as a, as a constant supply of tools to make for us. Because um, we are going to need a lot of those. And it is kind of annoying to run around and try to find tools at towns. So that's losing us 700 a week, but we're getting two tools out of it. So I guess I guess that's okay. All right. I need to find some better enemies, though. I want some stronger enemies. We haven't really found much this entire series so far in the way of, like, powerful enemies to face. 
Hmm. Maybe it's time we, we visited the Nords. I feel like we should find some, some juicy Nords up there. Okay, man. Uh, <laughs> this is like the second week that's gone by, and I still haven't found anyone really to fight. I found like a small group of step bandits, but I didn't want to show that. Um, there's like no really good enemies. But anyhow, we're making bank now. <laughs> we're making a lot of money. Six and a half thousand a week. That is awesome. Still getting 12 renown every week just from us being loyal. We haven't really up upgraded any of these skills, although I think ugly was upgraded from what was it before? It was something worse than ugly. We had like the second tier ugly. Like, uh, was it like you're, you're unbearable to look at or some shit like that? I think that got upgraded to just regular, regular uggo. Cerny Banders is now like a, a 3 out of 10 instead of like a 1 out of 10. He's moving up in the world. <laughs> Still got all, all of these ones that fucking suck. Incompetent administrator, bad duelist, bad supplier. Yeah. Well, shit happens. Shit happens. Tiger Bandits. Uh, man, I wanted like some cool deserters. But I don't know if we're going to get them, so fuck it. Let's fight these guys. These guys aren't on horseback, are they? I sure hope not. Our heroes can manage guys that aren't on horseback. Seriously, our heroes having horses now is fucking huge. It's great. Alright, let's put you guys over there. Oh yeah, they're not on horseback. Alright, never mind. Archers, you can step up a little bit. Come like, uh, go over there. Should work out. Why am I so slow? I feel really fucking slow right now. I mean, could it have something to do with the fact that our riding skill is only a 2 and will never improve? Possibly. Possibly. Allegedly. Alright, alright. Oh, that's not a good sign. Brutus Sparta going down right away, and then immediately us clapping back. That's what we like to see. Boom! Right in the fucking uh, elbow. You see that shot? That is a painful way to die. Also, I don't know who I just killed there. The two people that I was kind of aiming at both survived, and then somehow someone behind them died. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, we're slaughtering these bandits. Oh, that was awesome. Dude, they should have... Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know if spreading out would have helped for them. Right in the back. Good stuff. Yeah, our firearm skill is going to be going up quickly, man. This thing just does so much damage. It does so much damage. Alright. 16 enemies. Yeah, release them. 32 prestige. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These guys are getting tons of XP. Oh, we got a bunch of slaver chiefs now. Awesome. Uh, where's our... Uh, we do have two mercenary lances. I should start checking out more, uh, more taverns to see if I can recruit some of these uh, good mercenary dudes. Um, we are starting to run a little low on food. I mean, we're not low, obviously, but I want to always have a huge variety of food because supposedly that increases your chance of getting a good trait and it makes it so that you don't get odd, like just random bad traits. That's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is, um, but it's not that big of a price to pay. So we're going <laughs> to, we're just going to go ahead and buy all that stuff anyways. Give us some wine, dirty water. There we go. There we go. Alright. Uh, well, I mean... Okay, there's gotta be some Sea Raiders at this point. I checked up there before, they weren't on... Ooh. 56 Faker Footmen? What the hell? These guys have, like, larger armies of deserters than, like, entire towns have in their garrison, man. We are for sure gonna take a couple towns. Like, as soon as we become the vassal. We're just gonna pop on over, and we're just gonna fuck shit up. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, more tundra bandits. Alright. That's fine. We'll wipe them out real quick. Ah, oh, it's so dark. Alright, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this. Alright, going for the Hail Mary. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. What wow, what the fuck? They knocked out two of our slaver chiefs already? These guys? You kidding me? Alright, put the put the gun away. We need to actually kinda of take this serious, I, I suppose. I didn't think they How are they doing that much damage to our, our dudes? The Slaver Chiefs have good armor. That doesn't... Huh. Okay. Apparently we need to respect these guys a little bit more. Looks like they're just using blunt weapons though, so they're not going to kill anybody at least. Probably. Hopefully another Slaver Chief goes down. Oh wow, they're kind of putting... Kinda putting some damage down on us too. Wow, this is completely different than the last battle we had with them. Alright, let's heal us, heal our troops up. We don't have many troops left. Admittedly, none of them died. That is a plus. 
Hold up. Okay, now I'm kind of curious. Does... Do bullets go straight through? Well, I guess these guys aren't using any of their shields. Yo, pull your shields out. There you go. You. Mm -hmm. I want to figure this out. Who is that? Is that Louie? Oh, headshot for plus three firearm proficiency. Fuck yes. Uh-huh. Sit down, boy. Who are you? Oh, you are Louie. I thought I gave Louie a horse. I gave him a horse, and then I gave him our old master crossbow, hunting crossbow, so that he can actually use it on horseback. That's what I thought I did. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I just kind of thought about it and then didn't go through with it. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, there we go. Louie, my man. Comrade Louie. Yeah, it was good doing work with you. Also, our horse has become a unicorn. That looks kind of painful. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Uh, go ahead and release them. 22 prestige. Couple of manhunters. So we actually somehow gained troops out of that. <laughs> Despite every single person getting taken out besides us, pretty much. Don't question it. Don't question it. Wow, there's so much space. Oh, oh, that looks so good. We don't normally get inventory management up this high in like any of our series. But I mean, it's definitely worthwhile in this one. It definitely is. Let's level up some of our uh, heroes here. So, Andrew, how are you doing? We're just making him a, a stereotypical hero. Um, or fighter, I mean. They're all heroes. Even those who uh, can barely wield... Or, yeah, barely wield clubs. I'm looking at you, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob uh, was Marnus. Um, we are going to be making him our uh, charisma hero. We're trying to get a bunch of uh, trade with all that. Admittedly, that could be us at some point, but I feel like it's going to be easier to get him to Charisma 30 than it will be to get us. Especially since I think you can only get a maximum of 15 Charisma from the uh, the Piety. So, uh, in the meantime, though, let's go ahead and give you... We're going to He's going to be a Lord eventually. We're going to turn him into a Lord for sure. Did I give you a horse? I think I gave him a horse. Yeah, so he just has a regular-ass club and then a horse. That makes sense. Mm. Ooh. Yes, let's give you a lance. That might actually help out a lot. I should give that to someone else. Uh, let's give that to Andrew. Yeah, I feel like you could benefit with a lance as well. Give you guys something to uh, at least one-tap some people at full speed. All right, where are the Sea Raiders at? Come on, I need, some, I need a challenge. There, Sea Raiders used to swarm this area. Where are they at? These Nordic governments, they're so good with their uh, Calradium socialism that there's, there's just no bandits anywhere. There's just no bandits. What? Where the fuck? There's no sea raiders in the entire map. What is going on? I mean, like, it's a good thing, like, certain banners would like that for the peasants, but, you know, VMP, I'm sitting here like, hey, we're trying to try out our new, uh... Our new weapons, Vagar Skirmishers. 40 of them? That seems like a lot. I don't know how good those guys are. They sound ranged, which immediately sets off. Oh, man. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a fight. This looks like it's going to be a fight. Okay. Fuck me. They got bows and hand throwing weapons. Okay. Fire into the clump. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, how did that not kill any of them? Our boys are getting absolutely demolished right now. This isn't pretty. Right, let's heal our heroes real quick. Oh, wow, that guy did the fucking, like, somersault twist in midair. The gymnastics move right there. Or, as I said uh, in a prior episode, the old Palpatine. <laughs> That's what it kind of looked like. Don't throw shit at me. Oh, the 216 headshot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> God, it just feels powerful when they get shot, man. Like, you just see their body go flying. Alright, we might actually clean this up. We might actually clean this up. I thought I was going to have to clutch up and try to kill like 10 of them by myself. But our boys are doing okay. They really are. 
That was unnecessary to shoot that guy. He didn't even have a weapon. <laughs> he didn't even have a weapon. Excessive police brutality. That, that's what that shot was right there. Yeah, that's what that shot was. Alright, come on. Alright. Wow. Our boys did pretty good. We didn't lose anybody. I guess, did they use blunt weapons? They must. Oh, they do. They do use, I mean, spiked maces. I feel like a, a spiked mace. Hold on, let's look at this thing. Oh my god, look at look at that. Okay, that is not a blunt, non-lethal weapon. Okay? Look, if, po if police batons can kill people, I'm sure whatever the fuck that thing is can kill people. Oh my god. Can you imagine hitting someone with this shit? Like, a, it's just solid cast iron? Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> You're not waking up from that. I'm sorry. 50 prestige. That's, oh, wow. We're actually really raking in the prestige with these now. And we got a whole bunch of slaver chiefs. Or as we like to call them, freedom officers. Because <laughs> we don't actually take anybody, you know, prisoner. We just kind of say, hey, be better next time. Be better next time. And then we take all their loot. We take all their loot so that they can't kill anybody. And then we're like, no, no, no. Don't do that again. That would be rude. All right. Let me look for one more good battle, and then we'll probably wrap this one up here. Um, like I said, remember, tomorrow, probably around 2 to 3 EST, we're going to be starting a live stream. I don't know how long it'll go for, probably for a couple hours. Depends how much progress we make on our colony. Um, so come in, hang out, do a little uh, gambling, earn some dinars so that you can get yourself your own subscriber hero. All you got to do is show up, watch, and comment into the live stream, and then the Streamlabs bot will start throwing dinars your way, and you'll be able to gamble and, uh, you know, potentially join the ranks of... I feel like we need a name for this squad. I have I have no idea what that name would be. But we need something. We need something for it. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, well, I still haven't found anybody yet. But, I did remember that we need to turn in that quest with the Pope. And... Oh, we can get in now. Holy shit. Press B to bow before the Lord. Oh my god. I forgot how intricate some of this shit was. They got a goddamn Sistine Chapel in here. That's just his throne room. My god. Oh, it's the fucking Pope. He's got a little footstool. Is this man tiny? Or is his throne just that big? Who knows? Alright. Do a little bow. That doesn't look inappropriate at all. Okay, Pope Gregory. My name is Old Man Cerny Banders at your service, noble lord. We don't necessarily have a problem with the Pope. Obviously, not the same religion, you know. But uh, we don't necessarily have a problem with him. I am Pope Gregory the Eighteenth, the ruler of the Papal State and the Lord of Aldurius. It was an honor to have you among the participants for our games. Did I not get any relationship from that? Are you kidding me? Do you have any tasks? Oh, yes. Perfect. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's get on the Pope's good side. Look, the Pope... All the, the Right now, in this era, the Pope is above even the kings. Because everybody follows the Pope. He's the head of religion, and religion is ultra-powerful right now in Calradia. If we can get him on our side, maybe, you know, and assuming he's a good pope, you know, not a, not a greedy pope, and he actually does care for the well-being of his, uh, his people, well, might be able to make something happen there. Might get him to start viewing things from our side, from our light, and then, uh... He can start convincing the populace and get them to rally behind us. All right, all right. We'll have to see if this can work. Okay, let me go. Uh, let me go searching for this. Uh, this bandit layer. Okay, I'm about to just give up on finding the uh, <laughs> the mountain bandit place. I have searched all over the Rodok lands, and that shit ain't anywhere. I'm telling you. Uh, but anyways, this giant group of uh, Rodok elite crossbowmen attacked us. Like 40 plus of them, I think. Um, I'm, I'll be honest. I didn't think it was gonna go too well. But we've only lost one guy so far. I picked up these uh, mercenary land snakes at uh, a l well, actually a while ago. I was in a town a while ago, and uh, those boys did work, man. Those boys did work. They've got a uh, fuck. One of we have a useless banner carrier. Nice. Um, but those halberds or whatever the fuck they are, man. Those guys put in work. <laughs>
All right, 24 of them, nice. Get a bunch of prestige. We also got 200 prestige from um, a guild hall getting upgraded. I think it might have been Gel Collins, something like that. So we uh, we're actually probably at enough for the next rank, but we just can't get up to the next rank because um, because we're not a lord yet technically. So we're actually we might do that tomorrow on stream. Uh, anyhow, I think. I think we might just go ahead and wrap this one up here. I'm not finding this uh, this mountain bandit hideout. And so unless I was to, what's this? Swadia Rodax about to go to war, eh, whatever, no big deal. Unless I were to turn on, um, or turn off the fog of war. And actually, I don't even know if that reveals it. I have no idea. I have no idea where this thing could be. I've literally been everywhere. So I think we're just gonna wrap it up there. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do some uh, celebrating due to the uh, Bannerlord release date coming out. Um, who knows, man? I mean, I, I still need to sign up and try to get into the uh, closed multiplayer beta that's going on right now. But the open beta for the full... Oh my god, here it is. Perfect. The one area I didn't check. Kind of embarrassed. Um, what was I saying? But the, yeah, the full thing. The early access, full, you know, single player version is going to be coming out March 2020. That's what we really care about. I don't give a shit about multiplayer all that much. It'd be cool to play it, just because it's Bannerlord, but I'm, it doesn't get me all that excited. But who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe they've made some changes, and I would like it. Oh, that went through his shield. We can go through their shields. Lovely. Yeah, good night. Good night, my sweet prince. All right, good stuff, boys. Hippie Jesus. Dick's enormous. That's what I'm talking about. Keep moving. I got you. <laughs> the way that man just died. Oh, that's great. That is great. All right. Oh, Frank picking up a kill already. Oh, were there, there are people over there. <laughs> they do zero damage to me. Hold up, boys. Just stand still. Go ahead and keep firing at me. Won't do anything. Actually, if he gets a headshot, that'll hurt. But he's not. Fuck me, man. He's, like, firing over my shoulder. Is he not aiming at me? Oh, no, he is. One of these days, I'm gonna hit you, and it's gonna hurt. There we go. There we go. Oh, old man Harvey got knocked out. Stop it. His old bones can only take so much beating. Leave him alone. There we go. Dixie got taken out. Who is... Who are these guys that are doing that much damage? Get out of here. Ooh, that guy looks pretty tanky. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fuck. Okay, you can actually do damage to me. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax, relax. We're not... <laughs> I'm used to our armor being so good that they can't even do much to us. Good stuff. Turn around. How much more of these guys do we got? I feel like we should be getting close. This is the last four right here. I think it might be. Who's up next to me? Is that Louie? Louie's getting... Oh, nope. A bunch more just spawned in. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. It's Hippie Jesus with us. Hippie Jesus is no longer with us. Oh, can I heal? Oh, fuck. I can't even heal. Luckily that those weapons don't crush through blocks. I was kind of scared they would. Uh... There we go. Come on. Take the high ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> there we go. Are we done? Oh my god. That was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Hell yeah. Ooh, a feathered hat. Wow, those hats are fucking expensive. 1500 for a feathered hat? Doesn't even protect you. You're clearly just paying for the, uh, the name. The brand. Alright, good stuff. Let's turn this in. Pope better uh, pay up some significant uh, cash for that. I could have lost some people if my heroes weren't immortal. <laughs> if those were regular troops, that would have been a rough fight. There we go. 3k in loot. That's actually not too bad. That's almost worth it right there. So when he inevitably doesn't give us jack shit for loot, I'm not going to be too upset now. See, that's how you do. Set your expectations low. So then that way... You know, you aren't you aren't ever disappointed. Let's go ahead and bow. Oop, 
wow, this is a very uncomfortable first person experience. <laughs> All right, yep, I took about 1,500 florins and plus four uh, relationship with him. That's actually decent rewards. Thank you. Splendid work, old man, Cerny Banders. Your audacious attack is the talk of the realm. No doubt they or others like them will soon be back, but for a short while you have bought this land a small respite. We are most grateful to you. Okay, you know, Pope Gregory seems like a decent guy. He seems like a decent guy. What else you got? Oh, uh, no, no, we ain't, we're not going to do that one. We're not going to do that one for you, Pope. But uh, anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, and I've said multiple times, we're going to be streaming this tomorrow. Possibly going to be streaming this Sunday as well. Uh, so hop in, have some fun, earn yourself a subscriber hero. And as always, take it easy, lads.